But old Travis went right on sleeping next to his wife when Sam and Jake tiptoed in. And it was like the sleep of the just, deep and untroubled. And it occurred to me even then that his harsh, regular snoring was a sound that was familiar since my black. Oh, here we are. Sam and Jake tiptoed in. No, where was I? That old man had practically raised me. And he was a kind and gentle master. But he was still white and Old man Travis, like all whites, never even imagined that a slave, an obedient creature without courage or dignity, might one day rebel against his master. And so the only reaction that came to his mind, still foggy with sleep, was disbelief. When... to leave the house when Hawk ran back toward the sound of a baby crying. We had almost forgotten about the baby. <sighs> After the massacre at the Trevis Plantation, our next objective was those idiots again. After the massacre at the Trevis Plantation, our next objective was the slaughter of the Reese family. Reese was a cruel and foolish master who amused himself by tormenting his slaves with all sorts of stupid jokes. His wife and a sister-in-law, two asinine creatures, clown, encouraged this disgusting show-off, shrieking and squealing like stuck pigs. Slave. Don't be afraid, friend. It's just a joke. Just a joke. I want you to take a picture of me and the girls, huh? Now, you just take the camera and you look through this end and flash, you push the button, all right? Come on, fella. One picture of me and the girls together, huh? Come on, be a good sport. I should have refused, rebelled. Come on, fella. But how can a slave? Come on. Oh, wait, wait now. Hold it there just one minute. Oh, yeah. Where is he going to get that? Reese was a cruel and foolish master. Margaret, Nat Turner's first and only victim. How she excited him, without ever knowing it. <laughs>